I'm in the motherfucking house. This is Dope Talk TV. I'm John Grimstad, aka real estate agent. I'm with my dog Tax DJ. What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me here today. What's going on? What's going on? It's a beautiful fucking day. It is a beautiful day. It's amazing. It's beautiful out. What'd you do? What'd you do this week? Oh my gosh. This week I have, what haven't I done? You know, I'm in the process of uh, refinance. So, wow. There's a lot of. Really? Yeah. Like your house? Or? Yeah, so I actually um, just acquired about six months ago. I acquired a pre foreclosure home, and um, now I'm in the process of refinancing that home. So I acquired wow. it using um, OPM, other people's money. Yeah. So now we gotta pay back some people, you know. <laughs> pay back so, some people. Yeah. So that's the strategy that I was using with this particular deal. I'm super excited too because. I feel like once we're done with the refinance, then I can like breathe and then we can go on to the next deal, you know? Yeah. So. And how many deals are you are you looking to make in a year? Uh, every year is different, you know? Yeah. Um, to be honest, a lot of the goals that I've set for myself, I usually kind of do better than that. Yeah. So this year, uh, I don't know. I want to say at least five properties. Hopefully, okay. like three of them will be like short term. I'm now in the long term rental game, so. Okay, nice. And like, do you just go to these auctions and and perform? Like, you know, and you be bu be buying these properties all the time, or like, how does that work? Yeah, like so that's <clears throat> that's one strategy. Uh, to be really honest with you, I try to stay out of the auction. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get it before it even gets to that point because I don't want to compete against other people if I don't have to. You know. Okay. So I do try to implement a lot of what we call our like off market strategies. So I try to get it before it even hits the auction. I use the auction more as, as a as a reference. And nice. So how does it feel like working for yourself? Like uh, liberating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've wanted this for a really long time, and I don't think I knew exactly how I was going to do it. I just knew I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, being a young mom, that really just being a young mom, and then also just trying to survive in this economy is it's pretty rough yeah them yeah. eggs them, them freaking eggs they're oh crazy my gosh yeah that's crazy it's nice yeah it's my mom nuts. my mom has chickens she has like oh yeah like six i literally saw this girl talking about on facebook how she you know she got some she got some eggs for yeah six dollars a carton so i'm like okay well yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'd be passing out free eggs like to my homie and my girl and shit like that. She, cause she'd be making me omelets, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, baby? Yeah. Here, you know, you be cooking me some omelets. I'm gonna, we'll give you some free eggs. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a little side hustle. I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's actually pretty dope. That's another way to support some small businesses, right? So yeah, I'm all about that. Shoot, shit, I got a question. I I noticed that uh, you're like super spiritual. Uh, like in a good way though yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. that day when you you sent me that message you're like hey you know i'm setting spiritual like good vibrations you know what i mean your way it made me feel better you oh, know what i'm saying like that. yeah that's awesome because like a lot of people are not like that i mean i don't know i feel like there's a lot of bad energy right now yeah. in this world yeah definitely like how do you how does that make you feel like what do you like what's your morning routine when you wake up like how do you like what do you do is meditation like part of it like what do you do? Definitely. So meditation um, is been huge in my success. And you want to know something crazy? What's is, up? is that anytime that I am not like um, more tapped in spiritually, like even with myself, you know, or I'm not meditating, I find that there's a little bit more chaos around me, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know if you've ever felt that way, but of course. But for me, and then I start getting back into I'm like, you know, I'll tell myself like I need to make the time to do this. I need to, you know, meditate. I actually have like my own little altar in my room. Um really? I, yeah. I pull out the, you know, the sage. I got my crystals, my stones, you know, they all do different things. I got singing bowls, like Okay. The little rain uh, making instrument. I don't even know what the heck that's called. You know that sound? Like, I think the bowl, that's what you're talking about. The thing mm -hmm. that you, you spin and it makes like the hurts, I guess, the like the bowl, yeah. Like something like, uh, I guess, the, the, the vibration the or something. Frequencies. The frequency. Yeah. There you go. The yes. frequency. Uh, like, I guess it makes you relaxed or something like that. Yeah. Like, I actually listen to that while I'm meditating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And it depends on what I'm trying to bring to light or what I'm trying to manifest. Um, 
Or sometimes I'm just there to be grateful and just show some gratitude. That's okay. another thing, you know, meditating. Yeah, it's one thing to meditate, but it's another thing to feel grateful, you know, mm. even for the things that you don't have yet. It's true. So sometimes you got to be appreciative of the things that you do have, too. Absolutely. That's, you know, you got to be grateful because it's like, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe God wanted you wanted something, but, you know, somebody else like God or I don't know if you believe in God or anything like that, but someone high above, like maybe they didn't want you to go in that direction. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And it's pretty nutty to to see where I am now. You know, I've and just like a lot of us, we've come a very, very long way, you know, and it's awesome, too, because we've created like this community where you know, it's not just our success and our wins, but it's the people around us. Like even my close friends, I had to remove a lot of people from my life. Mm. You know, there's a lot of changes that I had to make to be where I am today and think so, have such a clear um, idea of what I want for myself, you know? Yeah. There's some people that I had to like cut off like completely. And then there's some people that I just had to like love from a distance. Oh, I love that you say that. I, I, that was something that was very hard for me to learn was, um, coming to terms with it is okay to love people from afar. Yeah. You know, it is absolutely okay. It's nothing but love on this end. You know, you won't hear me saying nothing bad about you. Yeah. Nothing like I love. Yeah. I try not to be for anybody. You know, if you're in my personal space or you're doing something that's like hurting my family or hurting me, then it's, it's different, you know, oh, but yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like I try not to be like, you know, cause violence is not, yeah, not where it's at. You know, like I feel like people are dying every day over stupid shit. Yeah, it's it's really sad, actually. Yeah, it's horrible. You know, try not to be uh, negative over here, but. One hundred. <laughs> one hundred. Right. One hundred. One hundred. Right. But yeah, so yeah, that's crazy because Sage is like on the the board. Like, I mean, if you is look, it? yeah, look, look on the bottom. Oh, I love that. Yeah, draining energy. That's yes. insane. Oh yeah. That's okay. insane. I saw you went to Dubai not too long ago. Oh my gosh. That's Did insane. I? Uh, it was a fire experience. I've actually never left the country before. Really? Yeah. Nice. But um, last year was a year full of success. You know, small wins, little wins, other people's wins. Yeah. And my birthday's actually in December, as is Dazzly's. And we were like, what better way to, to end out it. the year than to freaking go to Dubai? Yeah. So that was absolutely fire. That's insane. What did you do over there? Did you do anything crazy? Oh yeah. my gosh. We we uh, we did everything. We partied. <laughs> <laughs> they had the hookah there, of course, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. And you know what? I'm not a hookah kind of person. Yeah. But uh, like it was oh, good. That's yeah. I mean, it's like going to it Cuba. It was all I had. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, uh, you know, it's like do going, what you gotta do. It's like going to Amsterdam, you know? What do you think you're gonna do when you go to Amsterdam? Yeah, exactly. You feel me? You it's like I mean? yeah, you go to Cuba, you better smoke a Cuban cigar. Right. You feel me? Right. You know? Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? I noticed also like getting back into like, you know, the meditation and you know, morning routines, like I've seen these women with like crystals and stuff like that. What is that? Like I like I'm not like I have no type of education on that. Like, yeah. can you explain that? Maybe some of the dope talk viewers, you know, maybe they don't know either. You know? Yeah. So basically, um, there are different stones and crystals that are told to have like or give off different types of frequencies or help you manifest and bring forward certain things, you know. So it's pretty exciting um, because it's kind of like one of those things that. If you believe it, you can manifest it, right? So mm -hmm. this is just like one of those little tools that, you know, can help you along the way that I believe, you know, I love it. I, I have so many stones. It's actually pretty ridiculous. I even had like a little stone shop at one point where I was like wrapping stones yeah. and yeah. And then in the process of them making it, is it like, like who makes them? Like, you know, the, what? the stones themselves, well, they come they're they come from from rock or, or they like, come from like the earth from the earth yeah oh okay yeah okay yeah and um it like there's like a history behind it too you know like there's you know these are there's different tribes that have used you know these stones like for their rituals and yeah, yeah like people will actually take their stones and they'll put them inside of the singing bowl to charge their stones there's a few different um like techniques or uh you know yeah. little strategies on how to um charge your stones but that's just one of many different ways that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so like even like in medieval times, let's say if we go back to medieval times, would you be a witch? Oh my gosh, I would definitely be a witch. You know where they kill, they were killing witches back in the day. Hell yeah, I probably died a lot of uh, uh, many times. That's crazy. Many times, many times. I, I like that movie, the the Halloween. What is it? Halloween, uh, the Disney one. You ever seen oh, that? Oh. Uh, uh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You guys know. You guys know what it is. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking no, about. This is gonna you wanna know what's something crazy is that I hadn't seen that movie ever until about until the second one came out. Mm-hmm. Uh Hocus Pocus. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, Hocus. That's one. Yeah, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Nigga, we made it. We got it. Right. We got it. That's right. crazy. Yeah. So I saw the first one like the month before the second one came out. Yeah. And yeah, I really, I really liked it. That's crazy. It's pretty fire. Did you see it? Yeah. 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 What'd you think? It's good. Yeah. You it's saw good. the first and the second one. Oh yeah. I feel like this. They did really well in the second one. I mean, I feel like they did well on both. Like, Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the reason why I say that is usually the remake or the second of anything it sucks. is trash. Yeah. But they true. did really awesome, did, I feel. It was like yeah. a good second movie, you know? Yeah. Did you see uh, Avatar? I have not. Yeah, you got you got to see that one. <sighs> you got to yeah. see that one. Like, because that one, that one was pretty cool. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, Avatar, like, they're kind of, I think they have like a story behind it. You know what I mean? Like, when you really think about it. What do you mean by that exactly? Like, there's like, I feel like it's a documentary more than a movie. Okay. You know? I I think it's pretty cool that you said that because I've actually heard some um, pretty crazy theories about Avatar. Me too. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, this this is insane. I mean, they're talking about, like, the life force of, like, you know, the trees or there were giant trees Mm -hmm. on the earth. Uh, you know, I mean, there still are, right? But oh, yeah. I'm talking about like the main, like, like it had some, like it was like mother of like all trees type deal. Yeah, and it was giving you energy, and you know, it was like the the, the life. No, I I listen. I mean, think about it. I mean, like, think about it now, right? When you go to the springs, maybe I'm tripping because I like to go to the springs. Mm-hmm. You know, no, I love going and to I like taking mushrooms. I like doing certain things. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it helps me out. Mushrooms changed my life. I love that. For real. Like without mushrooms, like there would be no like dope talk. There would be no entrepreneur yeah. lifestyle. It like opened me up as a person. So it gave me more confidence. I love that. It was it's insane. It yeah, it is. Um it's definitely one of those things that uh make me always feel very motivated, you know? Facts. It's like I don't know. It's like it's a feeling when you can't you're be- out in the nature too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Especially a place like Oregon or Washington, yeah, you're in the wilderness, whether you're tripping or you're not tripping. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't because you're breathing. You're yeah. feeling so good. Like you it's, can feel the earth like yeah. breathing. It's pretty. It's like it's, you're one. Yeah. And once you do yeah. it, you just see life differently. Yeah. Like you don't like, I notice I don't litter anymore. Whenever, no. I, whenever, like I used to be that guy that used to throw shit out the window and shit like back in the day. I ain't gonna lie. I was that yeah. guy. I'll be real. We, we've all been that person. Yeah. And then like you start to appreciate the earth. Like when you actually see the earth breathing, when you see these, when you look at a tree and you see that motherfucker breathing, you're like, wow. Yeah. It's a different level. It's a, it's a way different um, appreciation for life. It, it makes you realize that everything has life. Everything, literally. Yeah. So like going back to the avatar shit, it's like, man. And then think about the people that lived here before us. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing, too, is the people that were here before us didn't have nearly as many distractions as we do today. Oof. You know? What do, so, you, mean, what do you mean by distractions? Uh, technology in general. Mm. Like, if you think about it, when we were JITS, the, the amount of technology we have now, like, what? Yeah. It's, it's, wow. It has progressed in such a very short period of time. Like, the last decade alone. It's really nuts. Yeah. Like wireless everything, wireless headphones. Like what? We didn't have any of that stuff. I, I feel like wearing wireless shit is bad for us. Am I tripping? No, absolutely not. I feel like like the Bluetooth and shit like that, it would, like fucks up our brain. I saw yeah. like a little documentary on like people that keep their phone, like guys keeping phone like on their pocket. Like mm-hmm. they're not able, I guess it like reduces sperm count. It does some crazy shit. Like yeah, it, no. it's like horrible shit. Like yeah, the radiation. same thing with you um, sleeping with your phone charged to you at night, you know, or standing by our microwave while it's on, you know, it's, it's literally right now. You know, it's wild. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> you know, what's wild too is that when I worked for Hilton, there's this guy, he lives here in Daltona, which is crazy, mm-hmm. but we worked in Orlando together at Hilton. And I remember him telling me like, Hey man, like I don't eat microwave foods. I don't use a microwave. I was like, damn, I've never met anybody in my life that said that to me. I'm trying to be like that. For real. Think about the yeah. people that's that don't use a microwave. Yeah. No popcorn. You got to make it over the stove, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Like just simple shit. You know, your coffee. 
Yeah. If that coffee get cold, you won't be pissed. Well, you know, I'm not a coffee drinker. But what? Yeah. I've actually, <sighs> I've only, I noticed, you I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, hey, if you need a little pick me up, I need we that. all got our thing, you know? I need so, that, yeah. No. Yeah. I don't yeah, do cocaine, so. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, like, I don't do really any caffeine. That's like, good. I'm all, jealous. I just drink a lot of water. Yeah, I love water. Know? That's all I drink. It's either caffeine, like coffee, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or water, or maybe beer. Okay. That's it. I don't have juice or anything like that. Like, yeah, neither do I. Yeah. Even even when I go out, like for a good night, I'm not. I'm taking shots. Taking shots. Do you use like a chaser with that at all? Like with like no. Nothing? I usually like my go to recently is like just crown apple. You Ooh, know, crown like, apple so good. It's smooth. You know, it's like easy. I don't need a chaser. Mm. Because I know I'm getting to that age where, like, you know, your body's starting to change, your stomach's not the same, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, I'm 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 tired of not listening to my body anymore. So I've cut out a lot of stuff out of my diet to be. I don't I don't want to be struggling in the morning. Yeah. I don't want to be running to the bathroom or waking up because I got a bad stomach ache. Like, oh, dude. I know. And then, like, people be wondering, like, man, John, you be waking up good, like, solid, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I be drinking. You know what I mean? You know, but like it's just I'd be taking like water in between the, oh, the drinks. Definitely. You got to stay hydrated because That's it's key. like sometimes I'm like, man, I'd be forgetting sometimes. I ain't going to lie. You know, Oh well, when you're having a good time, when you're having a good time, know? like you're just like, fuck, oh, shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. and which flavor of crown apple you said? Apple. Apple. Yeah. OK. OK. Um, And a lot of people don't know, but just put some um, if you do like mixed drinks, yeah. Sprite or ginger ale is really good with it. Um. It's pretty smooth. Ginger ale. I like, um, I used to drink Henny with uh, Henny and Coke, Henny and Rebel. Okay. Did that for a while. And then like Justin, my boy, he put me on um, the Casamigos. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He switched over to like to light. But like sometimes, Ugh. I don't know. It's yeah. just, I feel like I was good at with Henny. Like, yeah, see, I did light in my younger years. I played it out. So I don't like anything. It makes my stomach turn thinking about it, honestly. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I did a I lot like of dark I, now. You know what? I feel like the newer generation of kids didn't do reckless shit like us. Oh, hell no. We had four locos. At like 14, like, 15 eight, years old. Yeah. You like, know what I, I mean? was, I was like, getting lit, lit. Like, yeah. and that was when they had like the caffeine mixed with the alcohol. You remember that? The kid yes. died? Yeah. That was a. That's little insane. guinea pigs. Yeah, one time, I'm going to tell you an embarrassing story, right? Oh, God. God. You know, Ready? one time I was drinking Four Locos. I was at my grandma's house. It was, it was Thanksgiving. And uh, I drank like three of those, chugged them. Ooh. Barely ate. And it was like different colors. It wasn't oh, even like, no. it wasn't even like the same one, you know? And uh, next thing you know, I'm, I'm running naked. Through the house? Yeah, like I knocked out like... <laughs> Fell asleep and then I woke up naked and I like started running around like where the fuck are my clothes and I, oh my next thing you know it was it was it was bad it was bad I was throwing up on myself it was disgusting yeah that sounds pretty terrible how old were you um probably like fifteen sounds what, about yeah, right yeah like fifteen yeah yeah about to be sixteen maybe that'll happen to you you know people die from throwing up like laying oh my down. gosh yeah like yes that's yes. insane like I can't imagine that must be a horrible death oh absolutely because you're you're literally choking. What's your worst fear? Like, oh. like the worst, like number one worst, like it could be disgusting. It could be nasty. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a mom. I feel like I have a lot of fears. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm a woman. Uh, yeah. I have like a lot of like irrational, like just random fears too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I have, um, Honestly, I think the only like true fear that I have genuinely is leaving my kids, like not being here for my kids. Hold on, hold on. I gotta shout that out because you sound like a good mom. Uh, for I real, try, I try like I be, love that shit. Yeah, I, I I try to give them as much as I can. You know what I mean? Like they are everything to me. Yeah, that's true. Talk I don't have kids. I don't have kids yet. But no kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No kids. I'm okay. just. I want one though. Mm-hmm. One day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hopefully it's a son, but my mom said I'll get a girl probably. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. Either way. I mean, either way. Yeah. yeah. I heard that I heard that girls are easier to, to raise. Not re- like smaller. You know, yeah. like they're smarter and they learn faster. Like they say yeah. that women are smarter than men. They do say that. And they live longer. 
Really? Yeah. I don't know if I've heard that before. Yeah, I heard that. Interesting. Yeah. Women, Interesting. yeah. Because like uh, my grandfather on my dad's side, he died at like 90 something, but he, he ended up passing away first. My grandma stayed alive. My grandma on my mom's side, mm-hmm. she's at 70 something. My grandfather died like last year or two years ago. It was like 74. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like, you know, things happen. You know? Yeah. That's um, funny. But yeah, yeah, it's wild because like this woman here in Volusia County, um, she died at like, no, she didn't die. She's still alive. I saw. At 113? Yeah, she just had a birthday. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow. In like, Volusia County. I was like, oh, okay. Think about that. That's nuts. 113. That means that she saw everything. Yeah. And what's so crazy to me is like, I, I want to know what she did, you know? Like, what did she do? Yeah, because that's like not common. But some days. people, some people like. There was a, a documentary on a lady that she was like 90 something and they were like, what's your secret? She's like, oh, uh, it's just a cure's light every day. It was like a beer. So she got sponsored and had a, like a beer oh for the rest of her gosh, <laughs> free beer for the rest of her life. That's um, hilarious. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, there's different secrets. Some people just I feel like it's genetics. You think so? Mm-hmm. It's just like people like super muscular and they don't work out. It's genetics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I personally think it has a lot to do with our diet. Really? Yeah, I think a lot of um, issues stem solely from our gut health. Yeah, not cleaning it out. Uh, not cleaning it out. Not just not being aware of what we're putting in it. Yep. You know. Um, yeah. There's just there's a lot of like um, veggies and fruits and stuff that are not even like actual veggies and fruits and stuff out there. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. I mean? Doctor like, Sebi talks about that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy too. Yeah, that's insane. Like it's, um yeah, it's nuts. Like how like vitamin C, think about it. They put it in a pill form. Yeah. It's weird. That is very weird. Yeah. I met some people that don't like to take like like Tylenol, like ibuprofen. Yeah. Like they say it's like I guess it's bad. Yeah, it's not it's I th- I feel anything man made is not like, good for you, to be honest. Yeah. Like you're talking about like the, the fruits with you know, they take the, the seeds fruits. out, seedless yeah, fruits. Like, like how's how what? They how? Said, yeah, like how how does that even work? Mm-hmm. So they take the nutrients out and then they just sell the product. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and then there's like little things too that a lot of people don't know, like the fruits, um, to preserve them, they put a lot of wax around them, you know, so it's it's yeah wax stuff. yeah to preserve the fruit oh um, okay so i never knew this like until i'm an adult so yeah. how many freaking apples that i have that i didn't like thoroughly they have like literally brushes that they sell these days to literally uh clean off your fruits and there's fruits like kind of disappearing now are there it feels like it i don't know i feel like when i was a kid there was just like you would see a lot more kiwis Oh yeah, you see what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. remember you? Used to, yeah, Definitely. I don't know. Just certain fruits. I'm I'm like a fruit guy, and I, like I like vegetables. I like my greens. I like, you know, seafood. I like everything. Like I'm not okay. allergic to anything. Like my mom used to pack me like green peppers, like like just raw green peppers. Yeah, like cut them up. Really? And you know, and like just carrots and all this shit because like that's, that's just what awesome. I liked. You know, so it's because Ugh. of my mom. My mom's very. I'm trying you know. to be like you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but I do like my shit too. Like I I, yeah. I like I like ice cream, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not really into candy anymore, but when I was a kid I used to eat a lot of candy. Like on Halloween and shit. Like Okay. Yeah, so you know. You yeah. know what's wild? What's wild? Twenty twenty three. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're already here. Like this I is know. it's already like halfway through January. Yeah, and what's crazy is that when December comes, we're gonna be like, Holy shit. Can you believe it's December? Yeah, yeah. Again. Every year, it's so crazy. I know it, it flies by so fast. I spend so much money on Christmas. Did you? Yeah, like uh, I don't know. Like I just do it because I'm like really festive. Like I'm really into that seasonal that. shit. Like, I love that. I think this year was one of the more disciplined years I had before really? Christmas. Yeah, um, my kids are still at a fun age where they don't want anything too too crazy. You know, mm-hmm. it's the little things that make them happy. So I'm like, okay, well we can make that happen. And how old are they? So my um, eldest will be 10 this year. Wow. 10? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. And my youngest um, just turned five. Look at that. So They're big. Yeah. You know, so that's why I started, I started young, but. Fuck it. Listen, my kids, once they're adults, like I'm still going to be young. So. Yeah. I mean, the girl that I'm seeing right now, she had a kid at like 
16, 17. Okay. Yeah. So like she's 21 and she has a five year old. Okay. So I love that. Five is such a fun age. Yeah. And they, they're so fun. smart. Yeah. But does she have a boy or a girl? Boy. Okay. Yeah. Look, super there's smart. There's a boy. Yeah. He's a super, super smart. I love yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, he's intelligent, like, and he remembers names like really well. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, kids are are sponges. Yeah, I noticed sure. that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, you gotta you gotta yeah, be, be careful. Very, yeah. Because they they know. <laughs> yes. And they'll they'll say some shit, and you're like, whoa, you know, Whoa, you're like, chill. Where'd you learn that from? You know. Yeah, but you know what? It's all about creating a safe space too. You know, um, so that they know. You know what what should be said what what doesn't need to be said you know yeah. just creating a safe place for them because they're kids you know what i mean at the end of the day they're kids yeah. they're still trying to figure it out just just like we are yeah <laughs> and everyone raises their kids differently right absolutely i don't know uh how do you feel about this like teaching your kids about death death um i think it's important to talk about like you know, like it. you know certain things like that's like super sensitive like you know some people don't don't want to talk about it but yeah. like you know i feel you like know, you know kids need to to realize like how important and how valuable your life is. Yeah. You know, in the beginning, as a young mom, I didn't like the idea of talking to my kids about death. Yeah. Um, it, it, I don't know. It just didn't. I, I just, especially when you're somebody that's about energy and putting out, you know, yep. you know, manifesting things, you're like, ooh, like you don't want to talk about that stuff. You don't want to bring that to light. Right. Mm -hmm. So at first it was something, even with ants, like if there was an ant that, died or that was smushed or you know i would say no he's just sleeping you know like really yeah because wow. I, I just i don't know i just you just didn't like it yeah, yeah. It just you know it's not something that i think is comfortable for most for some people to, to talk with their kids about you yeah. know um because you want to create this safe space where it's just rainbows and butterflies all the time but that's just not that's just not life yeah. Um, and things happen and with time i realized how important it was to have these conversations with my kids because it kind of prepares them, you know what I mean? You can only prepare them so much, right? Yeah, like um, my mom, she would like point at the the Walmart mm -hmm. where the missing kids are at and be like, listen, like, if you want to be like those kids, like, you better, you know, don't be running away from me, you know? Like, yeah. And I was like, damn, I didn't think about, like, it hit me hard. I'm like, man, I used to see these kids on the side of the milk boxes and shit like that. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, man, what happens to these kids, you know? And it's like, why would somebody do that to somebody, you know? It's like these kids and shit, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's fucked up. There's a lot this of, world is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of horror stories out there. It's uh, it's really sad. Mm -mm, I can't I can't deal with that. That should make me cry. Oh my gosh, same. <laughs> especially yeah, especially For, uh, oh, no. when it comes to like certain things. Like like I'm a manly guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you won't see me cry and shit. But like when it comes to certain things, I'm like man, like. You know, funerals, I'm like, nah, I can't, I got, I can't yeah. hold it. You know what I'm saying? Certain oh, things like my that. Gosh, same. I'm not a funeral kind of gal. Yeah. You know? Some people are. You yeah. know, like my grandma's like, solid, yeah. no tear, my uncle, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, damn. How not you me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I got my I'm shades like on back. and shit. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Blacked out. Don't look at me. That's crazy. He's got the tissue. That's insane. <laughs> but yeah. I appreciate you hopping on the show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, no it's doubt. It's, it's awesome. You know, we got to help each other out. We're from the same city. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, do you have anything left to say for the Dope Top family? Uh, no, you know, I don't I don't think I have anything too crazy to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Nah, um, you know, thank you guys for having me so much. Um, if you guys do have any questions about, you know, real estate or maybe like short-term rentals, if you're looking for any guidance... Maybe just a friend. Um, just a motherfucking Taxi friend. Taxi Jade here. You know, you can find me on Instagram at Taxi Jade. And yeah. That's it. We out of here. All right, guys. We love you guys. Peace out.